Satan kept on saying, uh -huh, your bride denied him. Uh, he will deny you. Oh, no, sir. And Jesus looked at him. Yes, and he went. Oh, he repented. Oh, no, no, He's talking to repentant captives. Oh, and he's saying, all the power, oh, no, the power to forgive you, the power to forget your denial, the power to forgive your compromise, and the power to forgive your lie. You excluded yourself. You said, I am not one of them. The power to bring you back is talking to the repentant captives. Number two, it's talking to the released converts. The released converts. When somebody has just been born again, is converted. There's a new baby in the Lord. And there were things that bound that person before. Before he came to Christ, although he's now a convert, although he's now released, he's wondering, how will I be free from this? How will I be free from this? How will I be free from that? He says, all power is given unto me. He's talking to that released convert. He says, the power that sets you free, the power that makes you free, and the power that keeps you free, all power is given unto me. And then he's talking to renewed Christians. Talking to those who need to be sanctified. You want strength in your inner man. You want to be able to face the devil and say no to the devil. You want to live a courageous life. You want to live a conquering life. He's talking to those renewed Christians tonight. And he's saying all power is given unto me. He's talking to you whatever challenge you have in your life. And you need power. You need strength. The power to stand. And the power to face every challenge of your life. And you're wondering, I have this challenge before me. I have this assignment before me. I have this difficulty before me. And then your heart is beating. He said, let not your heart be afraid. Believe in God. Believe also in me. All power is given unto me. Tonight, that power will work in your life. I said, tonight, that power will work in your life. Look at the man. They brought this man. Four people carried him. He was a paralytic. And he took four people to put him on his stretcher. And they brought him. And they couldn't enter. And they went to the room. And they opened up the room. And then they brought him in the presence of Christ. And Jesus looked at the man. When he saw their faith, he said, Son, Thy sins be forgiven thee. And some Pharisees were there. Some Sadducees were there. Who is this man that is forgiving another person? He said that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sin. That you may know tonight that the Son of Man, the redeeming captain, has power on earth to forgive man. I say unto you, rise up, take up your bed and walk. And power entered into that man. He took up his bed and his walk. It's happening to you tonight. Those blind eyes will open. It's happening to you tonight. You throw those crutches away. It is happening to you tonight. The tumor that is swollen there will vanish away. You will know that Christ has the power. The power power to forgive and the power to heal. And then the word of God tells us that Jesus Christ translated us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Darkness will vanish away. I said darkness will vanish away. All the things that tie you down. Tonight it's broken. 
All the things that tie you down. Tonight you are released in Jesus' name. Because Christ has come. And he has come with all power. And he translates us. Out of the kingdom of darkness. And he translates us into his own kingdom. And now whatever your request is tonight. You are going back home with something great. You are going back home with something good. You are going back home with a miracle. Whatever the request tonight. Christ has the power to answer that prayer. Every prayer we pray here tonight on your behalf, the power of heaven will back it up. Look at what it says. Ephesians chapter 3. Reading from verse 20. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Now unto him that is able unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or see according to the power that worketh in us. According to the power that worketh in us. Unto him the glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages world without end. And everybody said, well, already you have heard that Christ is here tonight and is here with all power and is here to break every yoke in your life. He's here to forgive your sin. He's here to set you free. He's standing right there by your side. Don't weep anymore. Don't cry anymore. Don't be sorrowful anymore. Don't be dejected anymore. Don't think that you are finished. He said, look up. All power in heaven and in earth is given unto me. He says, only one thing you need to do. Come. Come unto me. I will solve your problem. Come unto me. I will forgive your sin. Come unto me. I'll break that yoke in your life. Come unto me. I will silence the enemy in your life. It says all power is here. All authority is here. All ability is here. It says all you need to do. Get out of that sin. Come out of that dungeon and come to Jesus Christ, the risen Christ. Come to him, the reigning conqueror. Come to him, he is the redeeming captain. You are coming. I said somebody there, you are coming. Somebody there, I said you are coming. The devil will not tie you down. Evil paths will not tie you down. Sin will not hold you down. Backsliding will not hold you back. Lord Jesus, I accept. Lord Jesus, I receive. Lord Jesus, I believe. I welcome the Christ of power in my life tonight. The Christ Christ of all authority in my life tonight. Welcome. 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 He'll forgive your sin. He'll change your life. He will give you redemption and salvation. Whosoever comes to me will in no wise cast away. It's bowed and I is closed. It's bowed and I is closed. Christ is calling you now. He wants to release that power. That power of his. He wants to release in your life. He wants to forgive your sin. He wants to save your soul. He wants to bless you tremendously abundantly. As bowed and eyes closed, if you accept Christ tonight, if you receive Christ tonight, if you believe in Christ tonight, and you want him to manifest the power of the Savior in your life, wherever you are, you raise up that hand. You raise up that hand, and something heavenly will happen to you. 
Something wonderful will happen to you. Redemption will come to you. Salvation will come to you. Forgiveness will come to you. He, Christ, is the one that has the power. The power to forgive you. And the power to turn your life around. You are saying, yes, I accept. Yes, I receive. Yes, I believe. Raise up that hand. You are raising up the hand. You will stand up. You want the power of Christ to forgive, to be manifested in your life. You will stand up. Wonderful. God bless you. Stand up right there. Lord, I want this power in my life tonight. I want to have the forgiveness of my sin tonight. I want strength to overcome in my life tonight. Whatever you are, just stand up. You are standing up, you come right here. That's what he said. That's what he said. That's what he said. He said, come unto me. Take everything you have there and come to Christ tonight. Jesus, I come. Jesus, I come. I leave all the darkness behind. Jesus, I come. I leave all my weakness behind. Jesus, I come. I leave all the violence behind. Jesus, I come. I leave all my adultery behind. Jesus, I come. I leave all the fornication behind. Jesus, I come. I leave Satan behind tonight. Jesus, I come. I leave all that evil spirit behind tonight. Jesus, I come. He wants to manifest the power in your life. All power is given unto him in heaven and on earth. He's waiting for you. He says, come. He'll crush that evil out of your life. He says, come. He'll destroy the works of the devil out of your life. He says, come. He'll take the confusion, the guilt away from your life. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. And you mean business with the Lord. You say, Lord Jesus Christ, I know, I believe, you have all power. The power to save. The power to set free. And the power to strengthen you. That all the power of sin will be canceled in your life. You tried and you have failed. You have tried and you have failed. You couldn't overcome sin by yourself. But Christ comes to you today. And he says he has all the power. He will forgive you. All the power. He will write your name in the book of life. He will take the drunkenness away. He will take all the occult you see him away. He will take all the secret evil things away. He will give you forgiveness. And he'll give you assurance that if you die after this time, you will go to heaven because he has the power to take you from us and to take you to heaven. He's the only one that has that power. The power to forgive and the power to release you and the power to change your life. Keep on coming. This is a special night for you. Night of salvation and the night of freedom and the night of redemption and the night that God will set you completely free. As you have come, you repent of your sin. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. Close your eyes now. Close your eyes. And then you are praying to the Lord. You are telling the Lord, Lord, I am a sinner. I want you to forgive me. I want you to change my life. Confess those sins to the Lord. And tell him, I know you died for me. Close your eyes. Tell him right there. I believe you died for me to take my sins away. I surrender my life to you. Tell him, tell him. I surrender my life to you. I will not go back to the sin anymore. I believe you are the power, all power to save me and to forgive me and to take me from earth to heaven. Thank you, Jesus. I believe my sins are forgiven because I believe you have all the power. Thank you, Jesus. I believe that I'm saved because I know you have all the power to save. Thank you, Jesus. 
I am set free because I know you have all the power. Just set me free. Just believe that in your heart and the joy of salvation will come to your heart. I pray for you now. Raise up those hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your people. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You have all power, all power to forgive, all power to cleanse, all power to save, all power to set free. Forgive the people that have repented. And those who have, those who have given their lives to you, receive them in Jesus' name. Manifest your authority in their lives. Save them. Change their lives. Convert them. Transform them completely. Make them new creatures in Christ. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Another amen. A reassuring amen. God bless you. The counselors are there. They are there to identify with you and rejoice with you. They will take your names down. If you can write, you write everything yourself. If you cannot, they will write it for you as you tell them. Call on our pastor to help us now. After this, then I'll come and pray for you. And the cries of all power will away all your problems in Jesus' name. Let's, let's leave the Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are waiting for that power to be manifested in your life. I said, Praise the Lord. You know that tonight all things are possible. You know tonight your sicknesses are going. You know that those evil spirits are packing their load tonight. You know that you are not going to remain the same tonight. Because Jesus came unto them and spake unto them saying all power in heaven and in earth is given unto me. That power is here tonight. Because Christ is here tonight. He said with authority and power he will kill your body. He will destroy the works of the devil. Before we pray if you know you are going to have a testimony tonight where are you? Before we pray if you know that that power will not pass you by tonight and that you are here tonight and Christ too is not partial is coming your way tonight and is here for you in particular and he will not fail thank God for that hand he will honor that faith tonight you raise up one hand you lay the other hand where you have the problem. Then we're going to pray. Then after the prayer, you check up yourself. You will see the manifestation right there. We're ready to pray now. Father, in Jesus' name, we bless your name tonight because you have bestowed and invested all power in Christ.